headlights, or louse in the singular term. When you hear the words, you might feel a slight itch on your scalp, or you might think to check your children ASAP. Most of us know that lice can spread very easy from person to person and sometimes are tough to get rid of. So, what is a head louse? According to the Mayo Clinic, head lice are tiny insects that feed on blood from the human scalp. Because head lice are spread primarily by head-to-head -head contact, the risk of transmission is greatest among younger people who play or go to school together. Cases of head lice most often occur in children in preschool through middle school. Some facts about head lice. Head lice cannot survive without a human host. The good news is that you don't have to worry about your pets having them. Head lice have no wings and cannot hop. They can only crawl. Head lice infestation isn't a sign of poor hygiene or unsanitary conditions, and they do not carry disease. Common symptoms of a lice infestation can include itching on the scalp, neck, and ears lice on the scalp, and lice eggs, or nits. Nits stick to hair shafts and are camouflaged to match hair color. Empty nits may be easier to spot because they are often lighter in color and further away from the scalp. When to see a doctor. If you think you or your child might have head lice, it's important to see a doctor before any treatments begin. Studies have found that children are often treated for head lice that have no active infestation. Other issues commonly mistaken for head lice include dandruff, scab tissue or dirt, other small insects found in the hair, or dead nits from a previous lice infestation. Treatments for head lice include over-the-counter or OTC drugs that kill lice and some eggs. Prescription medications, which doctors use when OTC drugs fail, should be taken only as recommended. Some have severe side effects. Make sure and speak to your doctor for more information.